In this Kden Live tutorial, I'll show you how to position individual subtitle blocks in your video. It's not easy, but welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, uh, let's just get a, a quick video right here. And I already have the subtitles to this video as clip3.srt and you can see it right here. Uh, I also have uh, the ASS version, uh, Advanced Substation Alpha, that was recently supported uh, in the December update. So I'll just drag and drop my video right there. Let's bring it here. Uh, everything is ready. So my video is on the timeline. Let me go to Project, Subtitles, Import Subtitle, and then just get my subtitle by clicking on this. Navigate to the folder with the subtitle that I want clip3.srt, click on open, and you can see a quick subtitle preview of what you have right here. Now, in this window, you can do a bunch of things. You can change the encoding and uh, all that you want. Uh, you can import a timeline cursor position. You can transform the frame rate, uh, depending on your video frame rate and so on and so forth. But for the best part of it, I wouldn't really tinker around with all that. You also get to see what the subtitles look like. That is, an SRT characteristics is a number, the time codes, uh, the subtitles, and then the number, time codes, and so on and so forth. So, as everything looks, everything is okay. Although I'm getting encoding could not be guessed using UTF-8, my subtitle I already know is in UTF-8. So I'll click on OK. And as you can see, if I click on this, you'll see my subtitles right here. So, I want us to position this particular subtitle let's say slightly up or let's come to this one you can see they're all down here now the reason why you may want to uh, maybe position a subtitle block like this differently from all the other subtitles is probably there's some graphics that are being obscured by the subtitles so i'll just click on it and once i do that you'll see the subtitles option comes up here now i mentioned it's not easy to position because of one simple issue. And I hope that Caden Live, uh, the folks behind it, or the contributors can actually address this. Let's make positioning subtitles in Caden Live much, much easier. So to position with my subtitle selected here, the subtitle block I want, I can click on these three vertical dots and then click on set position. Problem number one, it's not easily visible or people will not know if it's available. Let me click on it, set position. Now, the next option is you need to enter the X and the Y uh, positions. Now, most people will not know what X and Y positions they're going to put, but let me just do a quick one by doing something like 944 for the X and maybe something like 949 for the Y and click on OK. Once I do that, you'll see that my subtitles will go slightly higher up. So if you had a ticker going down here and it was being obscured by the subtitles, the subtitles have gone a little bit higher. Now, it would be awesome if you had like maybe a top, bottom, side, or even just a simple interface. Once I click on this, a simple pop-up interface comes up where I can easily and manually set uh, where I can have my subtitles positioned. It would be awesome if you can actually have uh, top, bottom, uh, or maybe just an interface, slight interface. Uh, let's say if we go to subtitle edit and uh, you just want to position, let's say, this particular subtitle slightly up. There are already alignment uh, features here. You can do top center, it goes up. Or better yet, uh, let's do control Z. Or better yet, maybe have a more or less an interface that looks like uh, this where you can easily position, let's say you want it here. Now, as I do that, you can see the mouse position is changing. So I'll easily know if the subtitle, if there's a, a thumbnail or a lower third graphic down there, I'll easily see, do I put them here? Do I put them here, here, or whatever uh, I want to put them. Let's say I want to put them somewhere there. Click on that. So that's 967 by 213. Click OK. They go up there. If I come back to Caden Live, let's say we change this to 967 by 213. 213. 
there we go they are there so positioning individual subtitle blocks is not the easiest thing in life but it's there now that you know that it's there go try it out and hopefully the folks at Caden Live are going to watch this video and make setting the position of individual subtitles a little bit easier uh, right inside there and obviously you can always uh, make a hold of a couple of subtitles and I believe you can also set uh, the uh, subtitles for both of them yes you can it should work not really uh, it did not change uh, that as well so I wish you can also do it in multiple uh, individual blocks if you hold shift and click uh, when you select all that hopefully it's going to also be possible when you select a couple you can change the position let's see let's see let's see 963 by 210 let's see if it works 310 actually uh-huh uh yeah, I think it works. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work when you do that. But either way, hopefully you can get better positioning for individual subtitles or even a bunch of subtitles uh, when you select them. So that's it for this video. And that is how to set the position for individual subtitle blocks in Kaden Live. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.